everyone and welcome to my new dory paint video you know since the very beginning of my youtube channel i've been many times asked to make a zodiac doll collection and actually kind of like this concept for an art project and the only reason why i've never done it before Yes, before, because I've done it before, guys, but it was before the YouTube, before I've seen all these dolls repaints on YouTube and became obsessed with them, I've decided that I want to do it myself as well. It was in the very, very, very beginning of my doll artist career, then I used to make some sort of Tilda dolls, you know, these fabric ones, and then I've made a collection of 12 dolls dedicated to every single zodiac sign. And that's why I felt a little bit out of zodiac inspiration for a while, you know? But lately I've started to think about it more and more often, and I think it's time to start. I know you can say that it's maybe a little bit strange to start a zodiac collection from with an Aquarius doll, when Aquarius is actually in the end of the zodiac cycle, but you know guys, with art projects it's the same like we start in a new healthy lifestyle. Better don't wait till Monday or till the new zodiac cycle is gonna to begin. Start when you feel like it, start when you have inspiration to do it and it doesn't matter that maybe it's some wrong timing or whatever. So Aquarius guys, this one is for you today. Happy upcoming birthday everyone! And by the way, tag yourself here in the comments down below because I really want to know how many guys from different zodiac signs I have here on this channel. My mom is an Aquarius by the way also, it's her birthday very soon. Oh, and can you guess by the way which zodiac sign I am? I'm just curious, can you say something like this about a person that you don't really know personally, but you know the way like this person is talking, the thing this person likes, the kind of energy of this person? Can you say what kind of zodiac sign, who who I am? Can Do you know it? Can you say it? Yeah, doesn't matter, it's just the details, we'll talk about it in the comments under this video. And the last thing, well, what we haven't done today yet? Haven't subscribed to my channel? Have you subscribed to my channel? Have you hit the bell button? Okay, then I can start. Let's start the makeover. Let's go. For this makeover I will take this Gule Yelps doll because I want to make a very glamorous girl. And Gule's face sculpt has this model vibe in it, I think. And first of all I need to remove her original outfit and cut her hair very short like I always do it. Then I warm up the doll's head with my hair dryer, the rubber head becomes soft after 2 or 3 minutes approximately, the glue inside of it melts and then I can first take the head off quite easily and after this I can pull off the rest of the hair together with the nasty glue from the inside of the head. And now let's take pure acetone and remove her old face. The blue paint on her head I've left, because now I'm going to give her new beautiful bluish hair. The color is called Fairy Lights and it has almost a unicorn skin effect. So pretty, really. And it kinda looks like water, because you remember we're making an Aquarius doll today. After a half day of working, I've got this very pretty, very long hair. It's a mix of light blue, light purple and pink hair, really very pretty. And now I'm going to fix them inside of the head with tacky glue. And while the glue is drying, let's make something special with her body. If you watched my last video when I gave a Monster High doll double jointed knees, you know how dramatic it was and I really had a lot of time looking at doll joints in despair. And then I thought, and what if I can increase the flexibility of the joints without sewing them in two and then sculpting new parts? What if I can just 
change a little bit the structure, a little bit the shape of the legs and the arms around the joints, giving them more space to move. Because now they bend just for 90 degrees. So let's get some more out of it. And here I cannot go without my Dremel tool. So this is what I've made and let's test it now. The normal knees bent 90 degrees. And the leg after I worked on it works for sure 45 degrees better, look! And this is just a little bit worse than the one with double joints, but the double joints are much more difficult to make. And now let's try to do the same on her arms. I just check where the plastic parts touch each other and kind of don't let the elbows to go farther and then I remove the plastic that stays on the way, that's it. And if you don't have a Dremel tool, for example, you can also try to do it with sanding paper, but it will take longer, of course. And I also want to cut like a triangle out of this pin that holds joints inside of the arms and the legs. And let's test it again. Honestly, I'm deeply impressed with the results. This tiny modification has made this doll just way more poseable. She can touch her forehead, for example, now, or a mouth, uh, you know, it will be a serious plus point while making pictures. A doll will look much more alive and natural. And the same with legs. It's very impressive result again, and it takes 100 times less, less time again an effort than making double joints. Look, I finished all four joints, and let's compare it to the regular doll body. Should I even say something? I don't know, I think I've deserved a like today, guys. I still want to send the complete doll one more time to make all the joints as smooth as the rest of the body and also to prepare this body for blushing later. But first, let's get back to the head. I filled in the hole between her lips with clay and now I'm going to change her skin color using my airbrush and a mix of acrylic paint. I want to give her also cold skin tone, but not the grey like the original skin was, but more some pinkish purple with some silver shine. It will work really good with her water blue hair. When the background color is done, I want first to sketch the eyes and the eyebrows before I move on to the contouring part. Then I mix some kind of a cold taupe color paint and this is what I love doing honestly, mixing new colors really. I can play with it for hours and today I'm also going to make some different layers, creating pretty and also very unique skin tone in the end. When I thought I was happy with the end result, I've sprayed the face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, you know I'm back to my old trustworthy friend, and now I can finally start drawing her face. And first of all I want to refresh the eyes, because you almost cannot see them anymore under the layers of paint. Using soft pastels I draw the eye makeup and here I also use mainly pinkish colors.
Then I draw the nostrils and contour her nose, and then I also contour the areas around her mouth. Now let's draw the eyebrows and try to make them look very natural. The lips I also want to make strawberry pink, similar to her eye makeup. I protect this layer with a sealant and then I start building up the white color of the eyes layers. It mainly requires two, sometimes three layers and then I also draw her lips more detailed. Then to show the dimension of her eyes, I draw the grey shadows on the white part of them. And like this we will see that the eyes are actually round. And her eyes should also look of course like clear blue water. After sealing the doll again, I add highlights to her eyes and also around the eyes. And now I still want to add light pastels to the most highlighted areas of the face. And then it's time to take a very sharp black pencil and to draw very fine lashes and also the eyeliner. And then I also add white reflections to her eyes. I still want to add silver gloss to her face, but I will do it after applying three layers of the sealant. That will protect my work completely. Otherwise, this matte sealant will steal all the silver shine. So after all the three layers of the sealant get dry, I cover up the fresh makeup with some clean cotton pad, for example, and add silver shine to the sides of her face. So now I need to work on her body and you know it's already slightly modified, the surface is sanded, so I just need to clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover and to blush it with my airbrush using the same acrylics like we already used for her face. Look, I've put her head and the body back together and I think it looks very much Aquarius style right now, yeah, looks good, looks good already. Cold, but not snow cold and rather like water cold. So now I need to brush and to style her beautiful long hair and I will make it like some very high ponytail today. And the last step of working on her face and the body is attaching false lashes and applying glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. Now 
Now let's move to the accessories. I have decided to go a very contemporary zodiac style. There will be neither star, no, you know, Illuminati symbols. I want to make rather a zodiac photo shoot for a Vogue magazine. And the main attribute of this Aquarius doll will become this bathtub. <laughs> you know, it was laying long enough in the box, time to get exposed, girl. So first of all I'm cleaning the surface with an acetone free nail polish remover and then I'm covering it with a couple of layers of white acrylics. And now is the most exciting part, let's decorate it. And for decoration I will use these water transfer stickers for nail design. And as a main element I will use lavender, it will bring a touch of some Provence style to this object and to make it more contemporary looking, like a mix of Provence with pop art, I will add a bunch of other cute pictures. And it's really fun to make this, fun to work with these stickers. I remember I had them big and bigger format when I was a kid and I put them everywhere, on all cups and mugs and the house, really, everywhere. So it's back to roots for me. And then I colored the sides of the bathtub, the feet and other small details with silver acrylics. And to give it some extra shine, I cover it with a couple of layers of glossy acrylic varnish. Of course, she will not be laying very much dressed up in the bathtub. But I also don't want to attract here people who like talking about, you know, doll nudity and things like this in the comments. So let's make for her a basic swimming suit using stretch silver fabric that will cover her body, look very stylish and glamorous. It will fit the silver details on the bathtub. And at the same time, it will be barely seen, barely noticeable in the white bathtub with the foam that we still need to make, but I don't know how, but let's first make an outfit, okay? <laughs> and to stay warm when she gets out of the bathtub, she will get this thick white robe. And the very last detail is to make a pair of glamorous, but at the same time very cozy looking home shoes. Well, it took me really a while to decide what to use to make that white and fluffy foam that will not be wet, will not stain things around, will be easily transportable abroad, so I was thinking first about some clear epoxy things, or even foam that they use in construction, you know, the, the toxic one, but thank god there, is st there are still bright ideas in my head sometimes, so I went to our local store bought a brand new pillow, cut it open and filled the bathtub in with white and soft fiber. Now I really can't believe it myself that she sits very relaxed there and having really good time in this cloud of white fluff. And this is actually what I wanted to reach with this makeover, so I'm really happy with the result. So guys, here is our Aquarius girl and happy upcoming birthday to all Aquarius people here. What do you think Aquarius is? Does it look like you a little bit? Or you feel like a completely different kind of a person? Tell me, I'm really curious because I don't really know if I believe in all this zodiac thing or it's just pure psychology and everyone can find similarities there. So I don't really have any strong opinion on it, but I really like it as an idea for an artistic project. Oh, and by the way, there is some very important information not Zodiac related. In the end of February, on the 26th, 27th and 28th of February, I will be in Dubai, Arabian Emirates, at Dubai Makers Ferry, and I'm going to give three days classes there. So if you're from Dubai or from another Emirate, and want to come to see me, 
you're very welcome. I will wait for everyone to chat and to hug and to customize some dolls together, of course. And another important thing is that from now on, until I'm back from this trip to Dubai, I will not sell my dolls online temporarily because I need to take something with me, you know, some dolls to present my art there. Otherwise, I would stay there in an empty booth with a sold out paper from the first day. So if you want to buy one of my dolls, they will be back for sale online in March or come check them out live in Dubai please I'm very excited about this trip I'm gonna show you everything in my vlog so subscribe if you don't want to miss my adventures there as well as the new Dory paints every week Friday of course so check please if you're already part of our family hit the bell button of course otherwise you never know if the video will appear in your list there are issues sometimes with YouTube you know Support my art, please, with your likes, then YouTube will know if it's good for others. And of course, have a nice weekend. This is the most important. And I will see you already next week, Friday. Love you guys. Bye.